Hi everybody, welcome to DIY Tuesday. Today we are going to be making one of the recipes from our holiday lookbook. Actually, it's the download. So, let's get started, but first I have a couple of quick announcements for you. Now, we are doing a giveaway today, so comment to win. Each comment counts as one entry, and you'll be entered to win one free DIY download. Now, these things are amazing. It has about 20 recipes in it, and they're all different kinds for gift giving or just for personal use, and they're really cool. I think you'll really like them a lot. So you'll receive one DIY download as well as one holiday lookbook, and that lookbook will have those stickers in um, there for you. Now, some a lot of people have been asking the question, why do I have to buy the lookbook and the download? Now, here's our recommendation is we recommend that you buy the download first, simply because then you'll be able to know what products you need from Oil Life, and then after you know exactly what you're gonna need, you can put in an order and add the lookbook to your order so that you get the stickers as well as the rest of the products that you need. So you'll have everything, and the lookbook and the download do go hand in hand, so we recommend getting them together. Um, but that is how you use it, and that's how we recommend you use it. So we're gonna be making a hot chocolate ornament today. Now this is one of my favorite recipes out of this download. And simply because it's a really great gift idea, it's cheap and it doesn't take a lot of time. Now what I have is I have a plastic bobble ornament from the store. It's You can get it at any craft store. Um, I've seen them at the dollar stores, anything like that, Dollar General, Dollar Tree. Um, so you can find them anywhere, but they are shatterproof. Um, so I have one of these, and then I have some chocolates as well as peppermint candies. You can use pepper, you can use candy canes. I just had access to these little peppermint candies. They are hard, so we're gonna break them in a little bit. Um, and then I actually am doing in this recipe. We're gonna do two serving sizes for this hot cocoa. So I do have two packets worth of hot cocoa powder here in this bowl. Now what we're going to do is first, so you can actually use um, this recipe with any kind of essential oil. Uh, we do recommend either peppermint or wild orange seems to be the favorite around here. We are doing peppermint today so it's going to be super yummy. It is one of my favorites. So what we're going to do first is we are going to add the peppermint oil into the hot cocoa mix. Now. I have a knife, you can use a fork, a spoon, whatever works for you. I just have a knife right now so we can cut the chocolate and the peppermint candies. But what you're gonna go ahead and do is you really don't need a lot of oil. I would recommend probably putting about two, three, four drops in the um, mix and then mixing it and it depends on how strong you like the oil. Because if you just want a little hint of it, I would recommend probably about a drop to two drops. If you like it strong, put two to four drops in there. So we're just gonna do three. One, two, three. And then all you have to do is just mix it. And once you put the hot chocolate mix in the ornament, you can, um, you can just shake it with the lid back on. Um, I would prefer not to do that because it does kind of get that little fine dust all over the inside where the cho um, hot chocolate mix isn't. And I like to keep my ornaments looking pretty. Um, so once you have this mixed, go ahead and set it aside for a little bit. And what we're gonna do next is we are going to cut, we're gonna mix up these uh, candies. So I'm going to unwrap them. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier, but we're going to go ahead and unwrap these. And then I have a little Ziploc plastic bag that we're going to smash these in just to make it a little bit cleaner because if you do try to cut them, they will kind of just go everywhere and you won't get, whew, or you could just fling them everywhere and then they'll get everywhere anyways. So I'm just going to put them in the bag so that they're contained and we don't lose any pieces. So let's unwrap this last one. Okay. Now if you have a, like a mallet um, or a meat tenderizer, that works as well. I wouldn't use the pokey side just so that it doesn't like, poke holes in the actual um, bag. 
but I'm just going to use the this side of like the heavier side of the knife and you're just going to go ahead and hit it and it's going to crack and so you're just going to want to break them into smaller pieces and it depends on what size of candy like chunk you want you can do big chunks of peppermint you can do little chunks of peppermint it's really up to you um we're gonna do kind of medium size today i don't recommend this way if you have another option just because it does hurt your hand a little bit but it gets the job done so there we go or you can hit it because apparently that works too so now that I have my little candy bits, I'm going to set those aside for a second and we're going to go ahead and chalk up, cut up the chocolate. So I recommend probably like little pieces. You can also use chocolate chips, works totally great. Um, any flavor, it could be dark chocolate, it could be white chocolate. You can really play with this part um, and get creative with it. It's not a one size fits all recipe, which I really like and you can customize it. So feel free to make your own changes, and um, if you have any recommendations for other people, feel free to leave them in the comments. Once again, don't forget to comment to enter. We are giving away one free DIY download today, as well as a holiday lookbook. So, and those are, that's the same giveaway. The same person will win both of those. Um, I highly encourage you to enter because it is an amazing download, and you will all want it, I promise got some great recipes in there, really good gift ideas for any essential oil lover in your life. So I have all of these little chocolate bits chopped up now and what we're going to do is I have a small bowl and the reason I have this is because I'm going to use it to hold this um, ornament while I'm filling it so that it doesn't get everywhere and I can still fill everything and it'll stay stable. So I'm just going to take the top off of that and I'm going to put this in here and I have a funnel to fill this so that it doesn't get everywhere. So what you're gonna wanna do first is you're gonna wanna put in your hot chocolate mix. So that's what we're gonna do here. And you're gonna wanna shake it a little bit because it will have a hard time coming out of the funnel. And you could just dump it everywhere because apparently every time I use a funnel, it just doesn't help. Um, perfect. So. If you can see the bottom here, we have a bottom full of hot chocolate mix, and now we're going to add, you can do either way, you can add the chocolate first, and then you can add the peppermint. That's what I do, just because it does add a little bit of more color, and then the chocolate's not covering the peppermint, and I think it looks more festive. So I'm just going to like, you just kind of push these chocolate bits into the ornament. And this chocolate is a little bit warm, so it's like melting in my hands. Um, but if you have, I would recommend refrigerating your chocolate beforehand because it will get a little bit hot like and warm as you're handling it and it'll melt less if you have it, if it's cold beforehand. Um, okay, that piece wasn't wanting to go in, that's fine. Okay, perfect. So now what we're gonna do that we have our chocolate in here is we're going to add our peppermint. And so I'm going to just take these out of the bag. And what you can do is you can actually, again, use the funnel. It's real. It makes it really easy. You literally just dump everything in the funnel. And some of the bigger pieces won't come out, but that's okay. Um, you can hand pick them out and put them into your ornament. Now this one looks really messy because my chocolate started melting everywhere, but generally this is a really clean process. I'm just a messy person. So, um, but it is a really fun project to do with kids. Um, especially they love putting in the little extras like the chocolate and the peppermint. Um, feel free to add different kinds of, white, of chocolate too. You could do white chocolate chips and semi-sweet or whatnot um, just to give it a little bit more color. But seriously guys, that's it. And then you're just going to pop this little top back on that I have a hard time getting on every time um, just because you have to pinch the two sides. So, and then you can tie a ribbon around the top or, you know, 
decorate the outside, whatever you want to do, um, dip the bottom in gold paint, whatever you want to do. Um, but it does turn out to be a really cool Christmas gift, you guys. Um, just a reminder really quickly, we do have our daily deals still going on. So if you haven't checked out our website, go ahead and do that. We are also giving away one free DIY download as well as a holiday lookbook. So make sure that you're commenting to win on that. The winner for that will be announced this upcoming Friday. I'm sorry, not this upcoming Friday because we will not be having Feature Friday due to the Thanksgiving holiday. So the winner will be announced on Tuesday of next week, so a week from today. Um, just to remind you and a little refresher on the DIY download and the holiday lookbook, we do recommend that you get the download first so that you know which products you want to purchase from us and then tacking the lookbooks onto your order with that so that you can get it all in one shipment and it just makes your life a lot easier and you know everything you need to get and you're not you know, looking back in hindsight, like, oh, I should have bought this. So you'll get everything that you need. And that's probably the best way to go about that. Um, thank you so much for joining us on DIY Tuesday. I am so happy that we could have been able to show you this. Go check out our download because it really is a cool project and you guys will really like it for this holiday season. It gives you a little something extra to do with your friends and family. So you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend and we'll see you in one week.